Hello everybody, welcome to Henry's Boogie and Blues Piano Lessons. Today we're looking at um, this guy, Champion Jack Dupree, one of my favourite piano players, a great, great player. He um, is from New Orleans and he was very much a blues player and singer and uh, he um, he's very interesting because he's got his very individual style of playing piano which is very different to loads of other blues players. And he plays in unusual keys, like he plays in A flat, E flat, D flat, sometimes even in B, B natural. Um, these are quite unusual keys for the, the piano blues. And my friend, uh, a couple of my friends played with him back in the, the 70s. And they, they told me that he favored those keys because he liked to sing in those keys. And he is primarily a singer um great great singer and uh, but his rhythm playing he used to accompany himself um in, in very interesting ways playing un unusual figures like things like this uh, <laughs> Domino and made into a new song called The Fat Man and also is played by loads of other piano players uh, like James Booker and various other people so and he, he created this figure like this <laughs> five or six different things there we're gonna look at them all so let's uh, move to the the camera move the camera up there so we can we can uh, study these things all right okay let's start with one of the things he does to as an intro when he plays boogie woogie he plays an intro and an intro short for introduction just means thing we play at the start of a piece and um, the classic boogie intros sound something like this <laughs> then it, but Jack Dupree played things a bit different like he would he would um, start things off like this <laughs> First of all, it's less notes, so it's simplified, it's distilled, it's it's taken down to the bare minimum and the, the simplicity. And also, what else is different is, instead of bringing the tune in on the F, he begins the tune on the C. So it, normally a boogie would start like this. <laughs> Jack Dupree doesn't do that, he does this. And then on the C. So I'm going to play that again. So that is an octave of G, A, and then a full chord of the C. So he plays that chord seven times. And then he hits the C with the thumb. And then 
does it again. And while he's doing that, he plays this chord here as a C and a B flat. So that makes a B7 chord when we play them together. C7 chord, sorry, not a B7 chord. So the overall effect is. Then he hits the C again, then he does this thing in the octaves. And that is kind of related to the Ammons, Albert Ammons uh, thing. Um, and it goes C, B flat, G, B flat, G. Boogie left hand's very unusual way. Um, he puts this note in, a D, which you hardly ever hear in any of those things, and it creates a very unusual pattern that sounds great, but it's very unusual. It goes like this. sounding if you've never heard it before but listen to tracks like Nasty Boogie and um, Johnson Street Boogie and he plays this figure and it goes C C D E A A this other thing which is very distinctive to him um, when he reaches the end of the blues he does this and it's it's playing the G as a way of ending the, the that chorus of the blues and bringing it round to the next chorus of the blues so from the top figure. So when we play the, the blues twice for that figure at the end, it would be like this. put the intro and that together we it's like this I'm going to play it slowly so in the left hand the right hand is doing these quite classic chords um, which are this voicing the chord which you used a lot this, this voicing so it's the E G and C and he'd be playing it like this G at the end, he'd be playing um, 
a G chord in the right hand also. And he might do that voicing or he might put the D in as well. So you can do either of those, but it kind of works. And he would also do some rhythmic playing like this. So a G and a C up the top. Champion Jack Dupree's boogie playing, but he also did some other things which which are in the, the that kind of thing. So this here is the, the chicken chat boogie that Jack Dupree played, and it's a very simple left hand that just E flat and D flat here. Lock it. Sometimes put the B flat in as well. by hitting the B flat and the D flat together. So the left hand can go lower, 
but when we move lower we need to make it simpler otherwise it sounds muddy so E flat and E flat that's all just rocking That's another thing Jack Dupree did. Um, this here is the classic Jack Dupree slow blues feeling, which um, is, is in A flat and very simple left hand, just like a sort of rocking and driving like this. It's an A flat octave. And the right hand, we're doing this rolling thing. So that is. The A flat seven chord, voiced with a C E flat G flat A flat, and we roll it, and then we roll it. Just move the thumb down one. Just playing two notes in the right hand. This note and this note. So that is a B and an F. Play it like that. Syncopation. So well, while we're doing this, we're going like this. seven chord but we roll onto it by playing the G flat note with our thumb and there's that thing again that we've done on the, the other two exercises so when we slow it right down and play it all through it goes like this talk a bit about this chord. This chord, if we move it up here, we can play it over the E flat chord and the D flat chord in the bass, like this. So we're just doing the left hand part, right hand part together. Change the feel to a triplets feel. Okay, that is part one of the Champion Jack Dupree tutorial. Um, it's, uh, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, thank you. Bye.